He's there to care. 240 Region Street North. Undiagnosed vision problems can affect the way kids learn and develop. October is Children's Vision Month, and Canadian Doctors of Optometry are reminding parents to take their kids for a yearly eye exam. I recently checked in with an optometrist to find out why it's so important. Joining me today is optometrist Dr. David Chisholm. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. All right, we hear that learning is 80% uh, visual. So kids can really encounter some serious problems in school if they have a vision problem and they aren't aware of it. That's very true. 80, uh, vision is 80% of the learning uh, that kids do in school. And if they don't have adequate vision, then they'll fall behind in reading, fall behind in arithmetic, fall behind in sporting abilities. So really it's important that kids get their eyes checked to help with their schoolwork. Now a lot of kids do get vision and screening testing at schools, but that's not an eye exam. So explain the differences, I guess, between the two so parents don't get confused. That's true. It's not an eye exam at all. An eye exam lasts from 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes half an hour. A school screening lasts a few minutes. And really, 43% of the kids that pass the school screening actually fail an eye exam. That's so there's number. a lot of undiagnosed problems that can be picked up just by having an eye exam. What are some vision problems that, if detected early, can actually be corrected? Well, the big ones are lazy eyes, um, weak eyes, the one eye is farsighted, one eye is not. Uh, that can cause a, an eye turn. It can cause vision not to develop properly in that eye as well. Uh, we also talk about nearsighted, farsighted. So if a child is very nearsighted, they can see up close okay, but they can't see far away. And really, when the teacher starts to present material farther away, that's when they'll start to suffer. So really, a professional eye exam is the only way to detect these sorts of issues? Absolutely, yeah. It's necessary. A lot of people think that a child needs to be able to read to get an eye exam. Also untrue. Uh, totally untrue, yeah. We have uh, small babies that come in nine months of age, and we give them an eye exam, and they can't read yet. Uh, so certainly we can certainly do an eye exam on all school-age children. So it's a process that doesn't require you to say the fox jumped over the... No, not yeah. like that at all. Perfect. No, no, no. Yeah, they don't have to read, they don't have to know letters, they don't have to know numbers. Pictures are, are easy, uh, so okay. it's quite easy to do. So what's the next move for parents then? What do they need to do here? Parents need to uh, contact their optometrist. If they don't have one, they can certainly look at the Ontario Association of Optometrists website for a listing of an optometrist in their area. Talk to family, friends, that kind of thing, and we'd be happy to take care of them and their children. All right, thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome, thank you. In most provinces, annual eye exams for children are covered under OHIP, and the program I See, I Learn provides kids in junior kindergarten with a free pair of glasses as well. You can find an optometrist in your community at doctorsofoptometry.ca. I'll be back with more lifestyle news later in the show. Brendan? All right, thank you, Sasha. Up next, we will check business news.